you own a Go XLR? Do you own a Stream Deck? Do you like memes? Well then, do I have good news for you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unleash the power of the pyramid. Shoulder just powers down, now look at him. You got to unleash the power of the pyramid. To do this, we're gonna show you how to combine the power of your devices to make your favorite sound bites on your stream deck push through your GoXLR as an audio source so that not only you and your viewers can hear your sound effects, but also your Discord. Let's get to it. Hello, I'm Spaz McGee, and welcome to one of the many episodes of Stream Sensei, a tutorial series for content creators. This is just a taste of the variety of content that this YouTube channel will be releasing. So be sure to like and subscribe to support the growth of this channel. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the 8-Bit Dojo, we are a Twitch community with a family feel while cultivating opportunities for upcoming content creators. We're here to offer a fun and safe online community welcoming to all. So if you want to be a student in our dojo, please check out our website at 8bitdojo.com by clicking on the link in the description below. Now on to the tutorial. Now to start off with this tutorial, I would like to state that this is for a single PC setup. We will revisit the specific tutorial for a two PC setup whenever we have the equipment to do so. So moving forward, what we're going to do is make sure that all of our software is set up properly. Go to your control panel. Click on hardware and sound and then manage audio devices. Once you verify that you are on the playback tab, you're going to want to make sure that your default communications device is set to chat and your system is set as your default device. Now that you have verified that this is all correct, we are going to move forward to the recording tab. So in this section, you want to make sure Broadcast Stream Mix is set to your default device. And Chat Mic is set to your default communications device. Now you can exit out of these windows and launch Discord. Click on the settings cog in the bottom left hand corner. Click on voice and video and set your input device as chat mic and output device as chat. An added note here is I personally like to set my input mode to voice activity and uncheck automatically determine input sensitivity. Then I set my threshold to make sure that all my sounds come through the mic in Discord and don't cut out. Play with these settings to find your happy range. Lastly, users have been known to experience issues with noise suppression, echo cancellation, noise reduction, and gain control as they prevent the soundboard audio from coming through. So make sure that they are all turned off since the Go XLR already has these filters built in. From here, we will open up the Stream Deck application to add in our soundbite. Click on the drop down tab on the soundboard plugin and drag over the play audio plugin. Put whatever title you want. We will call ours Windows Error. Then click on the three dots to add in your soundbite. You can set your volume level as well as what action and fade settings you want. Now we are going to pull up the sound mixer options and make sure the stream deck is set to sample on your Go XLR. This will pour all your audio from your stream deck to your Go XLR. Exit this and pull up your stream deck application one last time. Click on the sound you uploaded and make sure the output is set to sample. It's now time to test it out. Join a voice channel and hit the chosen soundbite button on your stream deck. If your icon lights up, that means that you are set up properly. 
but I highly recommend having a friend in a voice channel with you to let you know your levels are fine, as sounds can tend to come through louder on their end. Another great thing about this is the sample pads on your GoXLR will also still be functional as well. So now you can free up those sample pads for recording sound bites of yourself or friends live, or making some sick DJ beats on the fly. Sick, sick DJ beats on the fly. To end off this video, I wanted to inform you about a little quality of life update that GoXLR added to their software. Go into your GoXLR app and select the system tab. From here, click on global settings. Click on the connect, reconnect to Stream Deck app. This will download the GoXLR plugin directly into your Stream Deck application so that you can change your profiles as well as your routing table. This allows you to change how you utilize your GoXLR on the fly. For example, I've added a sleep button so that I don't have to open up the GoXLR app when I am shutting down my PC for the night. That is it. I hope that this helps you improve your content as well as increase your productivity. If you have any feedback on this video or wanna share the creative ways you utilize this tutorial, please post them in the comment section down below. Also, if there's anything you would like us to cover on our next episode of Stream Sensei, please let us know. This is Spazzy McGee signing off for the 8-Bit Dojo, and we hope to see you on the next episode. Later. This episode of Stream Sensei is sponsored by Bonsai Beats, DMCA, and copyright-free music for content creators. Be sure to check it out on all major music platforms, including Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, YouTube, and many other services. Click on the link in the description below to get your hands on some amazing tunes for your streams, VODs, and a variety of other platforms. The current song is an upcoming release for their new album, Sleeve, a dubstep album that will add an exciting flair to all your hype-infused content.